Hello and welcome to STL TV's special coverage of the 44th annual Mardi Gras Bud Light Grand Parade here in Soulard. I'm Tim Lampley. And I'm Ivy Hartman. Thank you so much for joining us. Tim, this is super fun for me to be here with you. I hear it's your first Mardi Gras. It is, and we are all very happy to be here because it's great. It's nice weather. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the biggest celebrations outside of uh, uh, New Orleans. So yep. it's really nice to be here. And in fact, we hear that uh, there's about 80 entries into this year's oh, yeah. uh, celebration. It, this started in the 80s with just a few floats going through Soulard. Uh -huh. This year, over 80 entries. This year's theme is That's Entertainment. And we've seen that with the floats here. <laughs> Have you, wanna... you been entertained? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Especially when I saw all of the floats that represented Hollywood. Yes. We even saw actual stars. Ooh! I, uh, <laughs> there were people who were wearing stars, oh. but, <laughs> but it was nice to see the stars, and we saw Oscar herself oh, uh, in a float. Yes. Oh, fantastic! It was great. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. This is really nice. I mean, I, I love all parades: Easter Parade, St. Patrick Parade, uh, New 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 uh, New Year's Parade. <laughs> Shrimp parades. <laughs> I'm thinking Forrest Gump. I'm sorry because we're talking about movies and that's entertainment. And on and on and on. The party just keeps going. You guys keep it right here on FCL TV so you can catch all the action of this 44th and, and, annual And parade. this is how you experience St. Louis. Hey, where are you from? Jacksonville, Illinois. All right. Not a little, a little trip over the river. Uh, a little hour and a half. Okay. Is it your first time at Mardi Gras? Oh, man. Uh, I come every year. And then what do you do with these beads every year? I pin them up. <laughs> but you keep them from year to year? Keep them. Uh -huh. yeah. You don't give any away? No. <laughs> I'll stay with mine. <laughs> Great. Happy Mardi Gras. Is this your first Mardi Gras? Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. So what's a pro like you know about doing Mardi Gras like a pro? I yeah, just got to have fun. <laughs> Throw some beads. <laughs> Go St. Louis. Louis. You guys having fun? Yeah! You heard it here. What's the favorite part so far? I like everything. It's so the fun. Beans. The beans. The beans. The beans. Where are you guys from? Wisconsin. Ohio. Wisconsin. Ohio. Colorado. Colorado. Times roll. Yeah. Hey, you guys having fun? Oh, yeah. It's awesome down here. What's your favorite part so far? The parade. You got to have the parade and the beads. Look at these guys. Look at all their beads. First time, what you have to do to get those beats? Hey, just shake it a little bit, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, thanks guys. <laughs> hey, who'd you come down here with? I came down here with her. And who's her? Her name's Maggie. How you guys enjoying the parade? What's been your favorite part? The beats so far away. We came all the way from Indiana from here. Really? How did that happen? Pretty man. Uh, we have a friend from St. Louis and they told us about this. They said it was the greatest place to be this weekend. Awesome. It is a great place to be. Thank you so much. Hey, guys. Y'all have fun? Yeah. Wait a minute. We need to hear like you ain't really have fun. Y'all have fun? Everybody's out here having a great time. Everybody's out here having a great time. Look at this. It doesn't get any better than this. All of this energy. What do you want to say? Uh, 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 Look at these. Yeah. This is one of the reasons why we're out here. Family fun. Fantastic. Look at this. Wonderful. Look at this. Look at this. Give me some high five. Give me a little dap. Look at a little dap there. A little dap. Give me some dap. Give me bam. Look at that. Little cutie. Y'all having fun? Woo. Look at this. Y'all having fun? Where you guys from? I love the beans. We're from what, Cincinnati? <laughs> you don't know what? You came here from Cincinnati for this? All the way from Cincinnati. Tell me how this happened. You look like you're riding a motorcycle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. What's your favorite part so far? Oh, the bikes down there. Awesome. What about the 80s flow? I don't know. 80s music is always good. <laughs> awesome. Take care. Thank you. Y'all having fun? Everybody's having fun? Look at the energy. Look at the energy. Look at this. Woo. Who's going to collect the most beads? 
This party is happening right here. Ain't nothing going on down there. Yes. Yes. Mac, you've been doing this for a number of years. How do you guys come up with the theme for the Mardi Gras parade? Uh, it's a lottery. Uh, we all sit around and drink a lot. And so, in all seriousness, sometimes it relates to, um, you know, when Mardi Gras falls on the calendar, right? So, in some years past, Mardi Gras falls on Valentine's Day weekend. And so, it has something to do with that. Uh, other years, we get feedback from the crews. Like, what do they want to do? Because all the crews who build these floats, they have to build something that's a riff on the theme. Uh, this year's theme for That's Entertainment really came from the cruise. So any good stories about Mardi Gras over the years? This story, I think this year is the weather. It's fantastic. But what are you, what are you at? I mean, for, I mean, first things first, I'm chairman of the weather committee this year. So you're welcome. Um, as for, you know, stories from before, this is on television. I can't really, I mean, your FCC license is not worth it. I was hoping you'd say oh, something I have like to that, say, yeah. you know, because it wouldn't be Mardi Gras no. without letting the good times roll. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Mac. Okay. What's your name? Mason. Hey, Mason. Is it your first time at Mardi Gras? No. No? What are you going to do with all these beads, Mason? I'll play with them. All right. Say, happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. Hey, where are you all from? I'm from Spain. I'm from England. Italy. I'm from London. I'm from London. I'm from London. Uh, Calvin Town, Calvin Town. Is you know Bishop of Stalford? Shout out Bishop of Stalford. First Mardi Gras? Yeah, he's yeah, so the great. The Mardi Gras, yeah. the first ever better, Mardi Gras. Better than New Orleans, better than New Orleans. Yeah, he's so great. So many necklaces, he's so great. Everybody should come to San Luis. Everybody come to San Luis. The theme, that's entertainment, Tim. Have you been entertained? And, and if so, what has entertained you the most with these floats today? You know, I was going to ask you that question. <laughs> but but I would say I really enjoyed seeing the um, the Hollywood floats um, that had cats, had all of the Broadway uh, musical shows. Also, did you see the little cars that the Shriners ride oh, in? Oh, yeah, that's always a, that's a hit. Don't you ever wonder, like, aren't they going to flip over with some of the stuff they do? Oh, yeah, because sometimes they're riding on, like, two <laughs> wheels and stuff like that. But you know what else is really, really fun to watch, too? Um, that 80s float. Oh, you know what? Anything. Because they were playing a lot of music from uh, the 80s at the time. You know, and, yep. You and know? that's always a good time. Music. And, and who dance. doesn't like Alf? And uh, I think they had uh, some of the 80s, oh, 80s shows alongside of the uh, the floats. So it was kind of cool to watch. It's always If a you grew up in the 80s. <laughs> you know? Did you, Tim? I don't know. You look like you could be a baby. I'm not telling. <laughs> at least not on camera. Well, we're old enough to be here at Soulard Mardi Gras. We're so glad you could Speak join us here. for yourself. I am, I am not old enough to drink or anything else out here. Um, That's why so, so tell me what's, what's been your favorite? My favorite, oh gosh, I have enjoyed like some of the dancers mm -hmm. and they actually had a band that was kind of interesting too because usually you don't see a marching band yeah. in this parade. Usually it's all about the floats, yeah. costumes, you know, things like that. So that was kind of cool for me. Did you see that little bike parade? It was, uh, it yeah. was all of the bikes were themed Yes. Too. Yes, and it's so cool. And then, like, Joya is also known for all their costumes. And then sometimes then there's the great lawn chair br brigade also. And they do this whole little um, choreographed dance with lawn chairs. Oh, really? Yeah. I missed that somehow. <laughs> I must have been chasing down some beads at that time. <laughs> do you know the history of the beads? And I thought that was very interesting in reading up before we came Tell here. me more about it. Well... It, first, it was glass beads that were handed out. Mm -hmm. And I think they must have been just a bit dangerous. Right. Imagine throwing out glass beads. Right. <laughs> but in later years, they became plastic necklaces, you know, yeah. which, of course, is more safe. And in the 1840s, when this started, it felt like, I think it was more of a parade on horseback, uh -huh. right? And things yeah. like that. And so um, I do remember the colors, though, like in terms of the, the colors are usually like green and purple and gold. Uh -huh. And I think that came from royalty and kind of that that well from what i'm reading here it says that purple represents justice okay green represents faith okay and gold represents power there we go so which one would you choose to wear oh, today oh faith oh 
What about you? Power up. <laughs> Power, baby. That's right. Let's go see the rest of the parade. You're a judge, right? I'm a judge. I'm a judge and a performer. How did, how did you become a judge? I became a judge because I'm uh, fantastic. So the only pe pick fantastic people to be judges. I'm fantastic, so I'm a judge. <laughs> You're from this area, obviously, or at least yes, sir. I'm from St. Louis. I went to Pattonville High School and Riverview High School, and uh, this is great. My first Mardi Gras. And I'm a judge and a performer, so man, I, I feel blessed. Mine too, we both share that. This is awesome, isn't it? This is, this is great. What are you looking for? What stands out? Uh, you can kind of tell the people that came to party and the people that put a lot of thought into the into their floats. So that's how we judge and you can kind of tell, you know what I mean? And it's not just the floats, right? It's, it's some, of the, some of the performers too, or just? Some of the street walkers and some of the other stuff, so yeah. Can you give me a clue, any clue about who's sort of Lead the pack. If not, just tell me what has been sort of the, the ooh and the ah from the crowd. Okay, so, so far, my personal favorite has been Papa Ray's uh, float. Papa Ray is the guy that owns Vintage Vinyl. And there it is. Mystic Knights of the Purple Haze. That was dope, man. The theme was dope. You could tell a lot of creativity. They put a lot of thought into it. It was great. What is the crowd like? Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> Thank you, brother. So... Give me a clue about what you're looking for. We're looking for the theme, the main theme, which is entertainment, and the costumes, and the spirit of Mardi Gras. There are different categories that you're judging for, right? We've got street, we've got wheels, we've got costume, we've got theme, and we've got wow. Any clue about who's standing out so far? I cannot say because I'm a judge, so that's not allowed. <laughs> what do you like, though? What What do you like to see? Pizzazz, bling. Uh, theme Theme is a big thing. Stick with the theme. Um, we had We had some that have been in the parade for years and years and deliver every year, so that's important. But we had some great costumes. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. You know, Tim, I've been doing this Mardi Gras parade a few times over the years. Not your first rodeo. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. And so, um, but I saw some new floats and new entries that I think are going to be really great uh, crowd pleasers this year and for years to come. Yes, and it was just really nice to see everybody having such a good time. And as I mentioned, uh, during the height of the pandemic, people didn't know that this would, something like this is gathering, when everybody's coming together, would happen again. And we've got more than 25% coming from outside of the area to come here and just together make this a really, really, really fun time during Mardi Gras season. So and it has see been the nice. See St. Louis at its best, yeah. come together, infuse our economy with yeah. a little bit of that great money yeah. yes. and keep us thriving here in St. Louis. But unfortunately, we will have to close out. Mm. Our, All the things this, come to an end. Yeah, this is the, that concludes our coverage of the 2023 Mardi Gras Bud Light Grand Parade. We'll see you back here next year. And uh, keep it locked right here at STL TV. And experience St. Louis. Awesome. <laughs>